biologists have discovered one of the oldest and probably most fleeting remnants of evolution seen in humans yet. It's right here in this scan, believe it or not. This is the hand of a baby in the womb, and we can see what we're told are extra lizard-like muscles. These muscles are then lost before birth, and they're a relic from the time that reptiles transitioned to mammals. That was a good while ago, around 250 million years ago. They're also found in the foot, as this second scan shows. Now, Dr. Rui Diogo is the lead author of the study from the Howard University in Washington. I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Help us, help us understand more about these muscles. What are they and how do they connect to lizards? Yes, thank you very much for having me. So, yes, so what is amazing is that we saw these uh, muscles in the embryos of humans, and it means that they are present in all embryos, so we all add these muscles, and they will normally disappear uh, when we are born. And some of these muscles, so about 10 of these muscles will disappear or get fused uh, during our development inside our mothers. And some of these muscles, two or three of them, are, as you said, are present uh, only in lizards or in salamanders as adults. They are not present in any mammal, even as adults. They will disappear about 250 million years ago. But for some reason, they are present and fully perfectly formed in, uh, in human embryos. Some of the other muscles that are present and disappear were lost later, let's say from monkeys to apes, and some were lost even later, let's say from apes to humans. So it's, it's a mix of, of a combination of structures that normally disappears in the embryo, except in cases of people with birth defects that will persist until later stages of development. Yeah. So how do you explain to us that these muscles still exist? Why has evolution not removed them? Yes, it's a good question, right? Um, uh, what seems to be the case is that it's not so easy for our evolution to say, look, if I have uh, five muscles, that normally what, what happened in human evolution, we lost a lot of muscles that go to the other digits except the sum. The sum muscles, we are, are really uh, a lot of them in humans, and we have a very precise sum movement. But for the other digits, we actually are very simplified uh, animals. We don't move so well the other, five dig the other four digits as other animals. So we lost those ones. But it seems to be difficult to just delete all of them and just keep the, the sum ones. It seems that we have to first form the layer, a layer going to the five digits, then the muscle separate going to each digit, and then the one going to the sum persists, and the other ones are, are disappearing normal, during normal development. It seems to be impossible to just make everything disappear from scratch except the one we need. It, evolution is more conservative than that, yes. Did you expect to find them when you started studying these scans, or was it a surprise? So, some people a long time ago, they said that perhaps they, they, they were, these muscles were present, because they saw, but the, saw what seemed to be other animal muscles in the embryos of humans. But the techniques were not really uh, able to show them, so we, can, we could really see if they were there or not. So what we could really see is, as, as you have shown, uh, with, preci with precision, how they are and how many, because one of the things that is new is also how many of these muscles is impressive. When we are just seven week gestation embryos inside our mothers, we are so small and we already have a hand with almost, uh, with almost 30 muscles. And then during development and when we are adults, this hand here has only about 20 muscles, so we lose one third of the muscles and th that number, that quantity and also many ones that were not described before is what is really striking about this new study. Yeah. My goodness, striking is the word. Thank you very much indeed. Absolutely fascinating. Very grateful for you coming on. Thank you very much indeed. Um, there is that story to be found as well in the science section of the BBC News website if you want to look at it more. Extraordinary story.